Alright, and we're back for more raft. So, we have some stuff to go over. First, as you can probably tell, I painted the raft, because we had made up all that paint, and I never did anything with it. So I decided it's finally time to uh, start painting, or make it look nice. So we come out, and I'm, we'll deal with that in a minute. So, basically what I did is, top floor is yellow, middle floor is blue, bottom floor is black, with the engine area being red. Um, if we come up here, you can see I built the windmill battery charger, because I stopped at an island. We'll be getting to that in a second, don't worry. I put the piano back, because we moved our big friend back here. So I thought it, it looked a little weird up top. But I like it in the back here. So now if we come in, the other thing i got to show you is I made the electric grill. So what's nice about this, I don't have enough stuff, but there's six spots. You can do three on the bottom, three on the top. And now that we have our battery charger, you know, we're not using fuel or anything, so... You know, we can use as much of this as we need. Most of the, it's funny, most of the resources are going to go into here. I have a feeling the next, uh, one of the next things I'm going to find is an electric forge. But anyway, maybe electric engines. Anyway, so, just for a little, uh, behind the scenes, what I normally do between episodes when I'm going to a new place, I'll stop around like about like 500 meters away. I stopped this time because you could see we're 680. This is all ice. Um, I've never seen this. Start the engines, pull up the anchor. And we're going to try to get as close to the uh, point of interest as possible. But I honestly, I have no idea how close we can get. So we're going to start piloting our uh, our craft here. It looks like there's a little bit of a bay here we can turn into. I'm guessing, I don't know if these are mountains or what these are. Like I said, I've never seen this before. I didn't realize I would you know, start hitting ice or whatever, the, you know, hitting this ice pack this far out, but, okay, so this looks like it's a inlet. Uh, I hope we're not too wide. I think we should be able to, to fit. I mean, it's like, uh, cap, like doing a real boat. Yeah, that looks like an island. Oh, and two. For everyone who's wants the piss, couple uh, t three episodes where we're doing um, like, uh, temperance, not temperance, Varuna Point. Yeah, I, I see a radio tower up there. Some tells me we're gonna have to get out and walk on this ice at some point. But so the people who watch that, you're not crazy. Um, there was cricket noises in the back. So I actually record in, uh, in my basement. I have an office. And, uh, as you can guess, we have crickets that get in. So I'm working on dealing with it. Eh, didn't go back straight. But right now it's pretty quiet. Uh, but they start picking up again, I'm sorry, but I'm working on it, that's all I can really say. Okay. So it looks like right up there is where I'm gonna dock the boat. It looks like we're about as close as we're gonna get. Again, I had no idea. This place looks huge. 
Sharks. Aren't sharks like warm blooded? Aren't they like not supposed to do good in the cold? And stop. Wow, look at that that parking job. So what we're gonna need I have I have food. As I was so, um, they accurate, accurately predicted the uh, boss fight in the last one. I'll make another prediction, and that is of polar bears. So what I want to do is go into here. Body armor. Reeves. We want to put those on. Okay. Close our doors up. And let's go see. Is that supposed to be there? naturally sliding down. That's funny. So this is a bit of an incline. Like I said, I predict polar bears. And I think this is going to be the second to last spot, but we shall see. I'm in shorts, so shouldn't I be like freezing? You know what these might be? These might be if you, uh, whatchamacallit? Maybe if you stop over there, so you have a. a guiding thing. That looks like a shelter. So keep an eye out for. Creatures. Oh my oh my god. We get to you Hell yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing. Nailed it, polar bears. This does not handle very well. This place. This looks like the um. Oh, what's it called? It's in Europe. It's like the seed vault. One blowtorch. Okay, so we gotta go exploring. I think I'm a little worried. Ooh, that's a polar bear. I'm a little worried about is finding. Oh my god. Finding my. This thing is not handled. Uh, whoop, hit a bear. Uh, this thing does not handle very well. What I was gonna say is one thing I'm worried about is finding my way back to the raft. This looks like a thing. Alright, we're gonna have to fight this bear. Not a hook. These things are hard to fight. I'll take your leather, your meat, and your head. 
Let's see if we can get into this base. Or not. Okay. <laughs> oh, we gotta go swimming. Of course we do. And I hear the cr I'm sorry, people. With the cricket. I got more, uh, anglerfish. We get through here? No, okay. Yeah, so I, I got bug spray and I've been spraying it, so. We're working on the, uh, the crickets in here. But, as you can hear, they don't want to give up easy. Please let there be air. This cave is cool, though. I do like... That was not a pun. I do like it. It's not a vending machine token. Ooh, does that mean we're gonna get more uh Oh because I moved the um the boss to the back of the ship to the back of the raft which I realized I still haven't named. Um I put our piano back on top. There's bears all over this frozen island. One of them completely wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual tricks worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Detroit. Says he came here with some survivors. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. I knew we were going to find... I think we're going to find that Detto kid soon. Hold on, I need tea. Huh. I don't know what the hell that is. It's a crate. But, well, let me put... I said I don't know what that is. I know it's something for the area, I just don't know what. Ooh, the anchor. Spear number two. Boat is ready to go. Detto is ready with the air horn, and Ruben can at least walk. Henry is staying behind. It's bittersweet. He doesn't speak with me anymore, but I think it's safer for someone to stay behind. Detto says there's a place with lots of people. Ruben says Astrid might be there. She definitely isn't here in this cold place. It's nice talking to people. Okay, we gotta figure out this. So we got a riddle. It's like bird, cat, hook, and sailboat. And I got those with numbers. I got the seagull, the shark, the spear, and the anchor. I can also move this around. What was that? Okay. So I think the order I see those in are... Seagull...
Huh. That's what I'm thinking. So I have seagull, shark, anchor, hook. And I wear spear. So that, that looks like the seagull, right? Kinda. That's the shark. That's the seagull. Shark. Anchor. Spear. So now... Oh, let me get up on these. Now, is there a number on this? No. No. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. Got it. Okay. So we need to find that weird bird thing. The four digit code. This is the order. And what we gotta do is collect count these big stars. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, which is the second digit. Um, what else are we looking for? A bird, a hook, and a raft thing. Oh. The raft, which is four. That's not the That's the bird, which is five. He's gonna find the hook. That's palm tree. Anchor. Hook, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, five nine six four. Ha ha. Advanced stationary anchor. What's this? Celine K. Okay. So something tells me we gotta go somewhere else. And that's something being that I only have one key. Yeah, gotta eat, drink. Can I get out of here? Let's see. If I go up here, is there anything? I know how this game is. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Come back down and get on our, uh... Our, our, um... Snowmobile. And head... I'm guessing there's another... Ah, I see what it is. So that's the key to get in the building. Now is the blowtorch to thaw out the keyhole. Now, so I just gotta find. I'm sure, there'll be another uh, another building. So that, that looks to be our place. I 
almost said no fall damage, which is true, but I'm like, I actually don't know that. So let's see. Let's go in here first. That's radiation. Uh. Let's not go into the radiation. Let's see. Oh, do I gotta... So I'm supposed to be getting this electrical cable the whole time. Doesn't reach that far. Reach is here though. Oh god, it's becoming uh, satisfactory. So now I'm going to have to go back around. Yeah, that looks like the order at the moment. Alright, let's go snowmobiling. Pick up some wire. All this for a blowtorch. There isn't any other way we can figure out to, uh, melt the ice on that thing. I know realistically there is, but it's not the way the game's, uh, designed. All right, give me your cable. I hope nobody needed that. I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of these because it seems. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's like most uh, these places. It's where it's uh, it's a lot more than you need, but let's just get it all. Because then we can uh, then we don't have to worry about coming back here for it. Especially if uh, turns out we need more. Actually, what I want to do, too, is do a quick one of those. And that, that should look familiar, because that probably this is the thing here. Oh, this is going to be radioactive, too. I bet you. I see it. Little known fact about radiation is that uh, it leaves a cloud of green, apparently. That's according to literally every video game ever. You know what? Just think of that anchor blueprint I got. I bet you that's what um on the 
boat controls. I bet you that's what that uh, other switch is for. The one that I was like, oh, does anyone know what this do does? I don't have it equipped, so. Time that perfectly. Do I have another spear? I thought I did. Grabbing cable. Here it comes. Ooh. Making them into pin, pin cushions. Grabbing this cable. Ah, this is gonna go down. Ugh. Go in here, get the blowtorch. Yeah, I think I got the wire from there already. So we're gonna go in here and get the blowtorch. Then we'll go into. Oh, okay. It's all the cabling then. But get the blowtorch from here. Go in that one place. Thaw it. Unlock it turn off the radiation, and then we're going to go into the basement. But we're going to work on this puzzle next time, because we are out of time already in this snowy tundra. But I will see everyone later.